welcome back to Beautifully Unbroken. If you have just stumbled upon this video and have no idea what you're watching, my name is Shayla and today I feel like I have a message for those who are wanting to go to the next level with God. So I've been hearing some things from the Lord about next level. And then I stumbled upon, I didn't stumble upon, I was reading my Bible and I was reading Psalm 11 and uh, really had um, some, it has some interesting things in it that I want to share with you today. So Psalm 11, um, I'm going to read it out of this beautiful book of Psalms that I have. <clears throat> so Psalm 11 verses four through seven say, the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord, his throne is in heaven. His eyes watch, his gaze examines everyone. So keep that word examines in your mind. The Lord examines the righteous, but he hates the wicked. So there's a, an immediate contrast there. He examines the righteous, but he hates the wicked and those who love violence. Let him rain burning coals and sulfur on the wicked. Let a scorching wind be the portion in their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright will see his face. So I was reading this in my daily Bible studies. And what caught me was the contrast in verse 5. The Lord examines the righteous, but he hates the wicked. So why does he examine the righteous yet hate the wicked? And so I looked up both those words. I looked up the word um, in some versions, it says test instead of examine. So I looked up that one um, in the Hebrew and also looked up the word hate in Hebrew. Um, so the word for hate in Hebrew, sane, literally just means hate. Like you, like the way that we know hate, you hate something, greatly dislike something. Um, test or examine is balkan. <laughs> And in Hebrew, and I butchered that a little bit because you're supposed to put a little bit of phlegm in there, and I didn't do it very well. But, um, and it indicates a testing as if testing like when you would test metals by fire. So I thought that was really, really interesting. So for the righteous, the Lord tests them as if they were metals in a fire, but the wicked, he just hates. So, like to me, if you're looking to go to the next level with God or like God is trying to bring you to the next level as, as a righteous person, as a Christian, um, <clears throat> first of all, you're always going to need to be obedient. Obedient is the first step to going further with God in any situation. But secondly, you're going to need to expect the Holy Spirit to draw some things out of you. You're going to need to expect to be tested or examined by the Lord. And to me, this is like a holy correction. This is like the Lord bringing out in you the things that you need to work on, need to grow in to get to that next level. So the first step, always, always, anytime you want to do anything in the Lord, you want to go further with him. If you're hearing next level right now, first of all, make sure you're being obedient. Second of all, prepare for the Lord to test you, to examine you. He examines his righteous children to draw out things in them that need to be worked on so that you can go to the next level. There are some things you've got to get out of the way that you have to repair or fix or get under control, dare I say, before he will take you to the next level in his work with himself. So, it's like the Holy Spirit drawing out a knowledge of things that we need to work on. And then we have to put in the work. Like you can't just leave it there. Like you have to put in the work. So I I see this verse as this portion of this Psalm as um, examination. Like, like he just doesn't like the wicked. Like he just leaves them alone. And that's not a good thing. Um, but... It's almost a blessing that he tests or examines his righteous children because he's improving us and he's improving our relationship with him. And that allows us to go to the next level. So it's almost a blessing even that he would take such notice of us that he wants us 
to fix things that are wrong in our life or are wrong in our walk with him or maybe sin in our life even because he cares about us and he wants us to go to the next level. Whereas the wicked, he's just like, eh, I'm just going to, they're evil and I'm just going to leave them alone. So I thought that was so awesome and <clears throat> really felt like it correlated to the words that I've been hearing next level. So for you today, if you've been hearing next level, take a look at Psalm 11 and kind of compare that holy correction versus just kind of he, how he ignores the wicked. Um, and, and it's a blessing to be corrected by the Lord. It's a blessing when the Holy Spirit tells us and convicts us of, hey, you need to work on this because there are things that if we don't work on them, get them under control, maybe we're having an issue of jealousy or maybe we're having an um, issue of some kind of sin in our life or um, all kinds of things. Uh, I dealt with somebody being jealous today and so that's why jealousy popped up in my head. But um, all kinds of things that we can work on. Maybe we need to work on gentleness. Maybe we need to work on being more vocal with things. Whatever it is that the Holy Spirit is drawing out in you, um, he needs that work to be done in you so you can go to the next level with God, whatever that next level might look like for you. So, and uh, I am recording in my husband's Jeep this evening because I've got kids out all over the place and they're being really loud. And also I was just going to sit outside, but it's really windy. And so I was afraid the wind would mess up this video. So, so I'm in the Jeep today and that's okay because, um, I felt like the Lord had a message for those who needed to go to the next level and I got that out there and that's all that matters. So, um, I'm wishing you guys all God's love and smiles for today. If you have any questions at all, feel free to message me. Don't forget that I'm available for speaking events and I actually love, love, love coming to um, speak a word and pour into the lives of the men and women of God. So um, wishing you all God's love and smiles for today and have an awesome, awesome Monday. Love you so much. Bye.